Hi you guys, I want to show you something. Isn't this a beautiful plant? Oh, it's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I wanted to show you a watering method that I use. I understand that this plant needs to be transplanted into a different pot. All of you gardeners and house plant people or people that love botany are all going to be like, oh my goodness, horticulture. You're going to be like, look at that pot. I know, we're working on it. Oh, and also, if you know what this plant is called, put it in the comments. So how I water a house plant is I take some tepid water and I fill up the sink. And then what I do is I put the plant in it to mimic how a plant would bring water into itself from the earth. So if you could see, see there's water in there. And usually I'll make it a little all the way up yeah, this I could have some more water in it, but see all the way up. I put it probably it's it must be sucking the water It's so dry, but um, we'll add some more water to it And what it does is it slowly fills the plant with water as it was be pulling it from the earth So it goes all the way through its roots all the way up into its leaves and it just makes the plant really happy and it's a wonderful way to water the plant also if you have plants that you can't get water really onto their leaves it keeps the mold away because they don't really get wet sometimes though i'm if it's something like this i'll show you this these are jade plants they're succulents so yes they need another pot they're going to be changed but what happens is it the succulent holds all the water in its leaves so you're mimicking a torrential downpour rain in the desert where this plant lives and then you don't have to water it all the time. So mimic that downpour rain. It's got a lot of water in it. It'll plump up the leaves so they'll look like this. And then as the plant starts to dry out, it's sucking all of the water from the leaves and you'll notice the leaves will get thinner and thinner and thinner. That means the plant needs a hardcore watering. And I just put it in the sink. See? Gorgeous. This plant is going to be transplanted. I'm going to do a new few plants from it. Oh, and it's super easy, you guys. If you want to make a plant from this, easy. Well, I'll show you. This is now a few hours later, and I want to show you, see what happens. The plant itself is just, it's even opening new leaves here. It's really, really enjoying sucking the water up like that. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Even the little hairs are all standing. And there was, I was told, fish fertilizer put into this water. And I'll show you the fertilizer in just a second. The reason why you, uh, well, I, I do it like this. You can do whatever you want. But <laughs> I usually put fertilizer, a little bit of fertilizer in the water because then it's all um, diluted. You can't burn the roots because it's diluted. The plant is going to suck up only as much water as it can handle. Then you take the plant out and you let it dry off. I just pull the drain out and I leave it for a few hours and pretty soon the plant will stop taking in water because it only takes what it needs, right? Isn't that gorgeous? Look. Beautiful, beautiful Mother Nature. This here is the fish fertilizer that was put in there. Just a little bit. It's great. Look you guys, I have a time machine. <laughs> These are the cuttings that I have taken from the jade plants. You can see there's a little root growing in there. I just chop them off and then put them inside of glasses of water like this and let them get root bound. So these ones that have more than one in there, they'll be removed and put into their individual glasses. And I let the whole glass get totally root bound. Then I put them in their soil. This is a great way to do this. I'm certain that somebody else will say that's wrong, but I could tell you I've been doing this for so many years. This is how this works and it works wonderfully. And I want to show you, this is a new little sprout that we received here. And I'm going to show you this. I'll test it out and then I will do a review for you about it. Okay, you guys, this is not called a sprout. <laughs> it is, but. It's a metal adjustable nozzle, and we spray a lot of water here on the garden. So I just want to let you know, 